Oh, Saracens Leicester final. It's uh, probably the two best teams in the Premiership this year. They've been vying for the top spot quite a bit. Um, I think Leicester have the edge in the sense that they, they've been there before so many times in finals. And, and last year, having watched there, I, I really thought that, uh, that the game would be won in the last moments. But you never can, can count these sides out. They're like the Manchester United you know, of rugby. Leicester have got this knack of winning. Uh, Saracens have got a great team spirit. They've got some great new, you know, young players who've come through, like Owen Farrell. And they look like a team who are very resilient. Whether they'll do it on the day... It's going, to be, it's going to be very close, I know that. It may boil down to who kicks best. Owen Farrell kicking his goals, Toby Flood kicking his goals. And, it, yeah, it's going to be very exciting. And, and, and let's hope it, it, it proves to be a, a fantastic game of rugby, like it was last year. But if I had to, if I had to bet a pound on it, I think I'd, uh, I'd go for Leicester. I think Leicester will you know, find it hard without Tuolangi. The, the, the centre's just been banned for for punching Chris Ashton. Five-week ban, which is you know, pretty reasonable in respect of, of, of what ha happened in the incident. Um, but it's a shame because he's a great player. He is going to go on to do great things for Leicester and, of course, I think for England in the World Cup. And uh, it's going to be a tough five weeks for him missing out on the final. And, uh, but I'm sure he'll be in, in many more. Well, it's, it's difficult. I mean, some people will say I can't win, I can't lose. Uh, having played for Saracens for 10 years, um, coached there for a couple of years, and now involved on a part-time basis at Leicester, coaching Ben Youngs and the scrum halves there. So, um, yeah, I suppose if either team win, I, I, you know, I, I win. And, uh, but, but having said that, you know, it's like asking Neil back who he, who he supports. Does he support Leicester or Leeds? Well, of course he supports Leeds. So, you know, my, my loyalties have to be with the team I'm coaching, uh, Leicester. Um, however, you know, I, I won't lose too much sleep if uh, Saracens happen to win one, because I think Leicester win quite a few these days. Well, this is uh, an honour, actually, to be here. It's a fantastic idea that, uh, that has been brought about. As, as on the T-shirt, tackling numbers. Now, I wasn't good at numeracy when I was younger, and uh, I, I think it's a great initiative where, you know, Premier, Premiership Rugby and M MBNA have uh, got together and come out with a, a fantastic exercise for young kids. Now, it's quite hard to get young kids into, you know, their numbers and understanding those sort of things. But to combine it with a sport is a really good way of, of just getting them more interested and being in the class. And, you know, these kids, they're, they're bright kids, but as soon as you start talking about football, rugby teams and start trying to create the, the, the numeracy within it, they, they get very interested. But I can imagine when I was a kid anyway, you know, 2 plus 2 or 20 times 16, it's sort of boring. So they've tried to make it more exciting. I think it's a great initiative and, they, and the kids are loving it.